peasant movements and the tribal movements and few things i'll keep on skipping because so many things that it is written over there it is of main syllable so i'll keep on skipping major point that we will cover as much you can remember okay which is supposed to be required for your prelims aspects socio religious movements if i am talking about how do they are correlated if we we'll go back to our vedas and if we we'll go in our see vedantas and you know that the upanishad is i said that vedanta upanishad is i said vedanta and here we are talking about in the vedanta there is an spiritualism is there high level of i said that spiritualism you know that the upanishad itself talk about it's talk about what is in a conversion or it is in a transfer from what is ritualism to spiritualism upanishad is talking about ritualism to and that you can say vedanta several philosophers several educated indians along with the other historians and other foreigners they came to india they studied the philosophy of india they studied the ancient history of india they studied the religious aspect of india and ultimately they found that ultimately they found that india has in the vedas itself they are talking about monotheism instead of polytheism they are talking about monotheism instead of i said that polytheism and monotheism you know that monotheism means believing in one god and polytheism means believing in several god and you know that in the present india the talking about several land you know that all of you must of somewhere supposing i said that shiva somewhere vishnu somewhere vishnu mata jay mata di and then different believers are there yes and then when you are crossing some places and there is a nice place is there then due to fear factor if i will not do something like this it will be aap log kya karte ho so i said that the our philosopher study so especially they found that ki indian religion philosophy history is very good but over the period that uh, the religion has been able to dis- dis- and destroy the social structure and then some come into the society so somewhere we need the social disorder come into the some i said that some social disorder come into existence due to the religion so therefore we have to give importance to the what is in a religious reform and then slowly and slowly we will be able to get what social reform so therefore we have to study socio religious reform and we studied yesterday in the 19 i said that 1813 chapter act you know that this is the time when the first time we can see that the traders started coming individual english traders started also coming yes and when they started coming at the same time there is a christian missionary is also camp and you know that in the first day class i said that missionary is christian missionary is camp in india in the other parts of the world against the growing islam against the growing islam i said that the, when the christian missionary come then the you know that india was full of so much of superstition india was full of so much superstition so against this superstition and the superstition somewhere it is an originated to the religion you know that the sati system it is in a somewhere originated to the women should not participate in this women should be like this in this kind of religious Uh, kind of same so i said that several places you can be able to see some superstition has been there and one of the pioneer person in the socio religious reform was i said that mr raza ram mohan rao and you i said that 1813 chapter act me socio religious reform started 
what is started i said that not only social from 1813 charter act at the same time it is i said yes educational reform also started and in the last classes that we have seen in the, all the acts and thereafter we have also seen that from the 1828 to 1835 who was the governor general william bentley and who was he was in a very good portion he did social reform and then i said that there is a sati system is especially you know that sati is there and he has been able to see 800 cases in a year and then therefore in 1829 there is an what an act has been made against the sati system and then several kind of reform has been done thereafter and our educated indian helped them to do it and you know that the william bentick was supported by whom raja ram mohan Rai. Understood? And then we can be able to see if I am talking about, if I am not taking uh, what is in a glass of water from your hand, it means again it is in a kind of what? Religion said that if I take in a water, glass of water from your hand, my religion get destroyed. It means untouchability come into the society. Yes or no? So several things the religion lead to the what I said that, a kind of what? Social destruction. Yes or not? Social infrastructure has been destroyed. So several things. Chai, if I am talking about child marriage is there. So many things. The religion. Religion never said that they do the child marriage. Yes or not? And widow should not marry. The religion never said that. If we have seen that, if we'll, so if we will go into the what is in an early Vedic age, there is in a widow remarriage is there. Yes? So how can you say that the widow marriage should not be there? And we know that the Sati system for the first time, Kavayata in the Gupta period, in the Banu Gupta, during the first time that we have seen in the ancient. So I said that, and then whether it is in a, I said that your, uh, the people, that, those who are ulemas are there, those who are the priestly people are there in the Gurudwara, anywhere the people are teaching and giving them the religious foundation and if you are doing like this, you will be, what is in a, out of this. So, you have to do a factor here that you have to prepare for this that I have not to get my hand from this person, he is in lower one, something like this. I said the Sikhism doesn't, doesn't teach and then Quran doesn't teach, Bible doesn't teach, Vedas has not been but over the period it has been deteriorated. In our Hindustan, it has been said like this, that when the story comes from that in their house, finally by reaching this story to the other one, I don't know what happened. उनके यहाँ बेटा हुआ है लेकिन उनके पांच हाथ हैं। The story get changed. So so much of superstition over the period. So let us see that हमारे जितने भी educated person थे, they have studied history, philosophy and everything, and they finally come on to the conclusion that religion is the what? What is the religion is the base cause of what is the deterioration of the society, the way that it has been grown over the period. And then who is the pioneer in our social religious reform? Raja Ram Mohan Rai. Raja Ram from the late 19th century, a number of European and uh, Indian scholars started the study of ancient India's history. Ancient India's history. You know that, who also, who said also that to go and uh, go back to Vedas? Who said go back to Vedas? Dayanand Saraswati. Yes. Who also said go back to go Vedas and see your history? I said that so many people have said that it is in a... a Mr. You know that uh, Rajara Mohan Rai, he studied so many things, knowledge of so many languages. If I am talking about English, French, Ital and then Greek, Hebrews, Italian, for Arabian, so many Persians and the every language and Bengali itself. So many languages, he studied so many things, Sanskrit and all. And then I said that one, any person come to India also, he said that go and back to see your ancient history. We have in a great past and ask it may we are living in the society. It is not the real society of Indian. Indian history is what? Something different. So when we'll see our past, you are downtrodden. What they said? We realize it. Yes, we are downtrodden. We have to live like in a worms on the earth in front of the Buddhists. So they made us and thereafter we slowly slowly and therefore any person said that I am the Tam Tam Wali and go and see that what is your history, why you are thinking like you are Don Trodan. So so many things are there. So we are going to see. 
and then we see that study of ancient India's history. So many people came, foreigners come, Indian educated people, everyone started studying the what is an ancient India's history, philosophy. You know that Sada Darsana. There is a what I said that Sada Darsana, sixth school of uh, orthodox school of Indian philosophy, and I said that science. Religion, and if you go back to see the science, Aryabhatta, Panchasiddhanta, Vara, Mir, I said the Charaka and Vagabhatta, several people are there in the medical science and science. Yes. And then religion and literature. And in religion, if you will see that there is a religion is itself talking about what is an Asruti and Smriti has said several things. And then we have seen what is the Vedas and how do the Brahmanas and how do the Aranakyas are going on. So the religion is like I said this one. And there are Prophnishad and then Hamlogoni Kyol Agni Kobi they we are not we are not we suppose there is no one supreme god but ever after that we never the Vedas never believe in what is an idol worships. They believe in what idol worship, they do not have an idol worships. They are doing the what is an worship of what? Nature. They are doing the worship of atmospheric, terrestrial, and then cosmogenic. These are the three gods are there in the answer. Yes? So they are doing the worship to these gods. So there is no idol worship. They were from where this idol worship came. It is also there. So many our social religious reform people have what is an what go against this idol worship, and because of this idol worship, though so many things are there. So I said that study of ancient India's history, philosophy, science, religion, हमने देखा, and the literatures. So many best literature. I said that is Smriti में literatures हैं. Suti has a literature, if you see in the back of the Vedas, we have Rig Veda, we have, an, uh, I said that so many uh, ten mandalas, eight akhastas, and then we have seen there is an Assam Veda, which is an, uh, and then uh, Yazur Veda, ritual sign, but there it is in a talking about what, pe rituals bhi kya tha? it is in a kind of yoga, yoga, means I said that connecting yourself with the supernatural God, by doing what is in a fire altars and all, what you are doing? So there is no, no as such monotheism was kind of their supernatural god. So how can you say that our ancient is talking about so many gods? It has been originated slowly and slowly, and the different sects come into, and then we ask it me patani tantis crore god. Every one person has one god. Huh? Yeah, two, three person <laughs> is equal to one god. And Vivekanan said itself, therefore he said that if we suppose the God in like this, what is it? Serving the people, serving the people, it means serving the God. Because the people is itself an image of a God, if you are considering. So I said that, so things are their literatures and the growing knowledge of India's past glory. We have a very glorified history. And then you know that if you go in the 16th century back, the Europeans are nothing in front of us. We are the richest in the world and we are richest since last. The others come and looted, even then we are richest. I said that richest in all this. And then I said that their growing knowledge of India's past glory provided to the Indian people a sense of pride in their civilization. I mean, when we'll come to know about, then we'll have a sense of what pride for our ancient past, our civilization, we are like this. It also helped the reformers in their work of religious and social reform for their struggle against all. It also helped the reformers in their work of religious and social. Jab hum log, logon ko batayenge ki these are the things that are said, uh, the must be over the period the people start realizing to an extent. Yes or no? And jahan pe sati, cremation and the fire it has been there to the woman. Raja Ram Mohan Rai wahan pe khade rahte the. Nahi karna, nahi karna, police and all. And then sometimes he was also chased by the people. I said that. So sometimes you have to also this kind of portion he was. He has given and then in 1833 he died also. I said that it also helped the reformers in their work of all. These things will help. And the social reform for their struggle against all the type of inhuman practices and superstitions. And the Eki Chiz Hamariya India me superstition hai wo hai. Yes? Purana. I have said full of corruption and full of and it has been mentioned over there it is in a full of corruptions and all so I say <coughs> since they had been they had become associated with the religious belief therefore 
most of the movements of social reform were of religious character. So, jitne bhi hamare yahan jo social evils hain, they are related to what I said that religious. The social evils are related to religious beliefs. Therefore, we have to what is an work on the religious character. So, therefore, we have to reform which one? Religious character. The social and religious reform movements arose among all communities of the Indian people. They attacked the superstition and hold of the priestly class. Okay, no? uh, Brahmas. That is an uh, Brahman. <laughs> they work for abolition of caste. As, and uh, uh, I said that they work for abolition, abolition of casteism. And casteism became by You know that. Last. Initial period, there is nothing as such. Casteism comes. And I said the letter Vedic at the end. And when the 16 Mahajanpada came, thereafter it become complete what? Four Varnas. It has been vague form in the latter Vedic. And they know that the 10th Mandala is talking about, I said that word, Varna Sudra word come. 